Okay, that sounds okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so uh, coming back again into uh, the day-to-day podcast after quite a long time. Uh, actually, yeah, it's been quite uh, long. Uh, we had a bit of a break uh, kind of uh, for each of us to kind of settle into different situations. So we had to take yep. a small break. And uh, now we decided to come back again with episodes, uh, uh, with random episodes that we think are important yeah. for ourselves. <laughs> Uh, and uh, hopefully you guys will also enjoy uh, what we're going to talk about. Yeah, hopefully you do. So yeah. we'll, we'll come back, guys. Yeah, uh, and uh, yeah. Looking forward let's, to uh, working with you guys. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, get it. Yeah, let's get into it then. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So declining phone sales. What do you think, Ilanka? Are phone sales declining? <laughs> Uh, I am uh, yeah. consciously deciding to use my phone as long as possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think more people are doing the same. I don't know whether this is the same case in all around the world, but in Europe, I think this is a quite big topic to be, we say, the devices to be repaired and used as long as possible rather than buying any phone. But then again, like it, it can also be a bubble that we are in, you know, the, the apps that we use, like the the networks that we and this is what I'm seeing because this is what I am mm-hmm. my personal opinions are but I think it's it's becoming a more uh, how to say a, a bit bigger opinion especially among the youth I think because they are mm-hmm. more eco-conscious and then uh, they're trying to yeah that that's sense yeah. Yeah, I mean, I you're right. I mean, I think I I follow your thought process as well. I mean, I don't because I've been using this this brick for about from 2019, so about four years now. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I mean, it it's it uh it sits on its last leg, so I'm gonna replace yeah. it this year. But after that, I can probably use that phone for about another five years, hopefully. Exactly. So I mean, yeah. this I I did a bit of gaming during COVID, so that's why <laughs> the battery I think. <laughs> Got a bit better, yeah, but yeah, uh, if yeah. not, I could have probably used it for another at yeah, least another exactly. at least another year. Yeah. So, uh, so maybe I'm not gonna do the same mistake. I might buy mm. a PS5 instead for gaming. Mm. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's a different topic. But um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people are going that route because one mm. thing, phones have sort of fallen into an area where you know they're so mm. good. I mean, whatever, like it could be Android, it could be Apple, yeah. whatever phone you buy, yeah. right? It does the job pretty well, right? Yes. And yes. you, like, about ninety percent of the people don't need all those additional features, and yeah. you can just get by with a normal phone. Yeah. And you're just gonna be fine with it, right? Yeah. Um. I mean, you don't. Maybe if you buy like a bit of a higher end phone, you can probably use that for about yeah uh, at at least three four years. Yeah. Years. I I think the only high end feature that I'm personally using is the mm-hmm. camera of a phone. Yeah. That that exactly. I that I think I need. I don't game on my phone. The <laughs> the most intensive thing that I do on my phone is probably like watching YouTube for maybe a extended time watching TikTok. Right. Or yeah. browse. I don't do I don't play so games on my phone mm-hmm. now. So yeah. Uh, yeah, the only thing that I need is the camera. So I think there's quite a lot of options to go for and uh, not mm. spending very high amounts for getting a good camera. Yeah. But yeah. Mm. I know what you mean. So I mean, uh, I am my I want to buy the iPhone, uh, the Pro version of it, whatever it is, five or fifteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. because simply no yeah. no other reason is just cameras, right? Because, yeah, and then it's gonna come with the the, the USB C, hopefully. Right? Uh, hopefully, I uh, it should right because I'm not sure because the law doesn't come into effect till next year. Right, it yeah. is, it's next year. The phones releasing next year okay. have to be compatible. So, yeah, sure. so mm-hmm. apparently, the rumor was that Apple is gonna take you know take an earlier thing and do it release this it, year, so it. that release mm-hmm. it earlier, so that you know they are prepared for it, so that you know the when it comes into effect, nothing goes wrong. Okay. I don't know that they'll go through with it. So let's yeah, see. Yeah. I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. I mean, they technically have the tech. They had they have Dude. almost all yeah. the other devices. Yeah, the, the the iPads like half the yeah. iPads are like the, even yeah. the Pro is it USB C? Yeah, mm-hmm. right. I think the Pro is USB C. Yeah. The iPad Air as well, right? Yeah. Um, and even the even the like the lower end iPads, I think they're introduced yeah. the latest one with USB C. Mm-hmm. Just I mean that's probably the only new feature in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I can't probably probably remember. But you know yeah. they have the technology to do it. It's just that they're <laughs> being uh, you know what I mean. It's it's they are acting in their self interest, right? Mm-hmm. As well. Mm-hmm. 
uh, as a company but uh, mm. yeah anyway yeah so, i'm I mean, yeah but i think it's good that there's you know like uh, these bodies like you trying to put some regulations in place so maybe uh, the, uh, there's a lot of argument for and against it uh, mm-hmm. but i think i'm i'm actually for what they are doing yeah. right now at least in the mm-hmm. sense like to be uh, the devices to be more repairable to have like a common exactly. standard exactly. less e waste you know when it comes to yeah. charges and stuff because mm-hmm. it's not like they are how do you say it? yeah they're not even including a charge anymore so you will have to buy your own charger yeah. if you, you yeah. know, it's not like yeah so <laughs> they include just a cable if i'm not mistaken yeah, yeah i do the cable yeah ah, okay. just the cable mm. i i mean i got a new phone recently uh mm. from my office so that mm. in that box included just the cable not mm. the charger so they gave me like a charger separately so yeah. have you have you seen have you like, maybe i've talked to you about this have you seen the fair phone have you heard about the fair phone uh yes i have i haven't seen it though i've heard about it yeah so like fair phone is a company that is i think based in the netherlands if i'm correct ah uh. Yes. and they are the, making mm-hmm. a fully user repairable uh, phone not user repairable but you can replace most of the parts of the phone by yourself with the easy manual like oh, okay. all the parts are screwed in with the with the same type of screw ah, uh, okay. and uh, you can yeah. uh, replace like the battery the screen the camera oh. module the charging port if it goes away you know mm-hmm. almost everything that is that can break they have mm-hmm. uh, repairs coming Mm-hmm. and uh, they will how to say you can order parts by yourself and then uh, fix right. it by yourself yeah and they have a 5 years uh, guarantee okay. or warranty if i yeah 5 years 5 years they get they make so that you get parts for 5 years ah oh uh, right okay okay yeah if i'm correct let me let me try this that's good cool. i mean yeah. um uh, if i remember correctly apple had something uh i mean they introduce a repair program i'm not i'm yeah. not sure whether it's accessible to consumers but mm-hmm. um you, you were able to sort of it was limited at first right i don't know whether they yeah. expanded it i didn't really follow mm-hmm. it after that but um i think it was a few things that you could re- uh, repair on your own i think the battery maybe the screen i'm not sure mm-hmm. so they would have like kits for it uh, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. order that kit from apple directly so not i fix it or anywhere else yeah it yeah. can directly order it from them and they send you like a matching part that works with your phone mm-hmm. um and you need to do like a uh, yeah, yeah before that you know send your serial number or whatever uh, and they do it and i mean they brought that in because of the re- uh, yeah again there was an issue in the us as well uh, which weirdly came uh, for the need of farmers to repair their tractors yeah, right yeah, yeah. i think yeah. we talk we spoke about this right i think i, I think so i think we did talking about Maybe. this once um so that came into effect and you know apple had to sort of get in for mm. that and they had to do their own part uh, for it but yeah I, i don't know whether they expanded on that but yeah i think i i hope you pushing you know repairability and all of that uh, sort of gets them to do it because mm-hmm. i mean it's i mean you've seen those again i think i've forgot this before as well the restoration videos of uh, old tech yeah that, you know that i mean they're built pretty well yeah um, so that you can repair them and you know use them yeah. again right uh, but i don't think you can really do that with the newer tech mm. uh, and it's not as easy it's not as easy yeah it's not as easy the components yeah. are smaller but then mm-hmm. they are also pushing this argument like it's i think apple oh i don't know whether they are doing this but it generally looks like they are using their consumers to push the message of mm, mm, keeping it non repairable uh, most of the time like i've seen mm-hmm. like again i've seen conversations on uh, articles which says okay mm-hmm. eu is pushing this then apple mm-hmm. will have to do this people will be able to fix their devices you know in repair stations mm-hmm. outside of apple you know centers mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. a lot of argument against is that like oh someone uh, who doesn't know uh, will screw my uh, you know ah. someone will screw my yeah. device or someone <laughs> will be able to uh, install spyware to my phone no yeah. you know things yeah. like this yeah. so it is they create this insecurity among people that yeah. no, no one outside of apple will be able to fix that device yeah. or they yeah, will yeah, screw yeah. it up 
yeah, yeah i i get what you mean i'm 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 sure they have planned for that <laughs> yeah <laughs> when it comes out but yeah yeah uh, but, but i think like you said yeah like i think these uh these sort of especially with the push from eu and then these messages of you know repairability are probably pushing like coming back to our initial conversation like mm-hmm. of people deciding to use their devices longer you know mm-hmm. if they can repair it and keep using it and mm-hmm. i think companies like fairphone and also if you heard of framework which is uh, a laptop company oh uh, yes i have the, yeah? the they you can also do like switching of parts and things like that in that exactly yeah, so yeah. that's that's actually a us company uh, mm-hmm. and uh, fairphone is a yeah but these two companies are the ones that i know uh, mm-hmm. they kind of started the sort of repairable devices comes mm-hmm. in again that you can as a user or the parts paint mm-hmm. it by yourself shift things yeah uh and now the fairphone company they're actually building a lot of other devices similarly as well. like uh, apart from the phone they also have like a set of uh, like headphones, headphones? Oh, which you okay. can shift out parts the cable if it bro- breaks like let me let me let me share the screen with you so maybe i can show this to you uh share screen Okay. Oh no. You're not allowed to share screen. Yeah, I it's I have to give permission again. So maybe maybe I'll Wait, just, wait, uh, I, uh, oh, host you... No, yeah, yeah, I can't say it. Yeah. Uh, who's the host? I thought you were the host here. Yeah. <laughs> am I? Yeah, I am the host. Wait, I have disabled. Uh what how can I change this then? Uh security uh share screen okay i can do it sorry now ah, you can see it right yeah please yes. the please ignore the other tabs <laughs> uh... <laughs> maybe maybe you can drag it out and separate it uh, the... uh, does it still work then now i can see a white square yes yeah, same here how's that wait it's uh, ah yeah back again ah no what happened you can see shoes yes i can see shoes okay give me a second ah uh, okay there we go let me do that again Oh, oh wait they don't click share okay there we go how's that uh-huh. yes perfect yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. so here you can just see their phone and then like the the here oh. yeah, head, uh, headphones is what i mentioned here so if you go to that you can see that they have uh, quite a lot of components which are hmm, like I think if you go down in the page, it shows how it's repairable. Ah, there you go. Hmm. No, there was a yeah, there are the parts that you can kind of take off ah, and repair. Right. Mm, battery. You have full headphones. Okay, the ear cups. Okay, mm. ear cushions or whatever. Ear cushions are usually there, but like uh, yeah. But it, it's it's a, it's a slightly more. how to say you can mm-hmm. repair some parts of it like especially the battery i think like uh, headphones yeah headphone batteries are notoriously very hard to <laughs> get into <laughs> yeah yeah so i mean there is a okay um now i mean there's a flip side to it right we need to talk about that as well mm-hmm. um going this route um so i mean we were, we initially spoke about um mm-hmm. declining uh, uh, phone sales like across the board i mean i, I think i, I that's I, we don't need probably discuss that too much because that's that's um yeah. sort of established that that's the mm-hmm. general trend right it's, it's not a not a, a massive thing right but uh, when it comes to this topic like um there is a there is a argument for it um mm-hmm. for it and against this as well so what i say against this is uh i mean if you look at this right this is uh, airpod mm-hmm, right? yeah um 
making this user repairable in this design nah. is not i mean it's not Pas- practical right not it's practical. not practical at all right mm-hmm. uh so there might be areas okay for phones it makes sense right mm-hmm. i feel like because phones we've seen that application being done so uh, like there are good phones like flagship phones with ip67 68 ratings mm-hmm. that had replaceable batteries right yeah. so i mean that's if 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 someone says that you know weather sealing or environmental sealing is the issue it's not right it's not it's not the issue no, but no. you can still do it sony has done it lg has done it you know other so many other companies have done it right samsung. um samsung has done it. okay I, yeah, maybe yeah. i think and, samsung was has done probably done it that i remember the galaxy active or something like there was a phone there yeah. um so uh yeah i mean it it works for them but maybe for smaller technology i'm not sure no, no, no. the best no. thing mm. for that I mean, because you know the smaller things get the more specialized tools you need to sort of uh, yeah, yeah, operate yeah. on it if you will mm. so um, that becomes a problem and yeah. um that is a problem that i mean uh, i mean okay there's a uh, there is a limit but mm. what sort of investment would uh, the companies make yeah. sort of um, you know get over that limit right so they might mm. they might invest a lot and create you know they might i mean who knows right? they might create mm. a technology where you can just easily replace your batteries uh, in your airpods or whatever smaller technology mm. or even your watch or whatever right so but now thinking about it watch batteries are actually replaceable right as well the <laughs> watch batteries that are replaceable yeah. i mean not smart watches i'm not talking about smart watches, but i'm i think for watches even that uh, you can apply that technology but maybe the smaller the technology gets especially for airpods and you know headphones or things like that yeah we might see newer applications of it i don't know yeah i think it ma- makes sense like for small devices to be more specialized or like i uh, i think it still should be able to change batteries but i don't think none of the companies offer that option uh, for any of the smaller devices mm-hmm, mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. maybe from a point of eway it seems also not so significant but it's still very expensive technology like the smaller yeah. items so i don't know whether like the companies offer probably offer like if it's if it's in the initial purchase period they probably offer an exchange if there's some issue but mm-hmm. like over the time if the batteries go down it's i, I don't know whether it makes sense like uh, it, it it if it's pos- but like i said it's an investment like it's a small device uh, and then exactly just exactly over the time does it make <laughs> sense to change the battery the quality exactly. reduces the speakers the yeah, grain exactly so it's the whole product goes down exactly and, yeah so i mean the the premise is that for, for i mean you generally the limiting factor for a phone is the battery right mm-hmm. because the screen mm-hmm. and all of that generally that lasts i mean it tends to last right i mean those connections don't erode or anything like that right they are built mm-hmm. in a way that they can sort of do it yeah. for a long time uh, i mean unless you like use it to extremes and do things like that mm-hmm. uh, yeah uh, yeah uh, <laughs> um but um when it, the smaller the technology is uh, mm-hmm. it, it, it's it, the conversation changes uh although when it comes to audio technology uh, uh i think people do have speakers that they bought like 10 20 years ago and they're still using right so mm-hmm. it's not the audio technology per se that that might be a limiting mm-hmm. factor um it's what specifically built into the smaller because when you mm-hmm. scale something down you there is of course compromises that you need to make on quality mm-hmm. or any other aspect of it yeah right? yeah so uh so it will be a challenge to sort of maintain that quality so that you mm-hmm. can use it for like 10 years 20 whatever 15 years whatever mm-hmm. and have the battery replaceable in that small package so it's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. not not mm. as easy as it sounds but yeah, yeah i mean yeah, it's, yeah. it's probably a challenge mm. i mean it's understandable for small devices but i think for large yeah. devices things like laptops phones and tractors i yeah, think yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah exactly exactly they should be able to uh, have use repairable parts uh, then exactly yeah going in that specific place yeah, yeah i mean it should be right like it it just makes sense i mean why would you want to go out and spend 
Mm. I mean, I know why the companies want us to go and yeah, spend. yeah, right, that makes sense. Uh, but it's, it's, and yeah, it, it's the same case with the cars now as well, right? Most of the new cars, it's going uh, the same route, isn't it? Like uh, it's yeah, uh, yeah. I've been like, oh shit! Like, are we really doing this? Like uh, with uh, the whole subscription services for cars, mm. and then mm. yes, cars we not do, we being able. we spoke about like a subscription to like a heating yes yes option right in a bmw and, or something and, like. and i i thought it would just not go up but it's been faced by a lot of other companies i think as yeah. well. uh, people are going for it and i think it's it's the same with teslas right now right they still have like a certain set of mm. features that are subscription based uh, if mm-hmm. i think yeah and uh, i don't know i mean uh, but why i mean okay Uh, okay that i i feel like that is stupid but i mean the the probably the best way to go about it is like have the ability to drive as a subscription or something like that right mm-hmm. like i mean so there are apps in in sweden right like yes, yes, uh, yes. on the volvo on demand and kinto share and things yeah, like yeah, that yeah. right you just subscribe to it and whenever you need a car you just sort of you know say okay i need yeah, it from yeah. here to here uh, mm-hmm. book it you can go and pick mm-hmm. it up use it and return it your charge yeah. for it and you're done it's not your car yeah. you don't yeah. need to worry about anything mm. you don't even need to pay for fuel right yeah mm. uh, there's like a fueling card and you can uh, do that aspect mm. as well but uh, yeah i mean that might be the future because i mean people generally i, th- I think i spoke about a trend um, mm. a few uh, in one of the previous ones previous seasons that we did um uh, regarding the decline of uh, the gen z folks mm. who uh n- not I mean, they know they are getting less licenses right yeah, yeah, yeah. um uh to drive and uh, mm. so i mean yeah anyway i mean people I mean, like cars cars sales are going to anyway decline in the future right? yeah, so yeah that's anyway good so it, it makes sense to move into a model where you share your rights rather than yeah. you know just have that so then i mean that might also have a positive impact on the environment i feel mm-hmm. because the majority of the people are using bikes or public transport or whatever and like a minority i mean whoever yeah. needs to can use the car that's fine i mean it's still good yeah um cars as, for, so cars as a subscription yeah, i mean yeah exactly and- Yeah, yeah. Makes sense right I, i i think i like that so i mean yeah. if you really like driving you can get a sports car and just drive yeah. on the weekend yeah, yeah, yeah. that's no one's no one's stopping you stopping you from doing yeah. it right uh, that makes more sense than buying yeah. your own car and then having features on subscription yeah exactly exactly right? yeah. that's that's just stupid <laughs> <laughs> like you have speed limits to the car like and then oh uh, you know... oh dude yes i forgot about that right you yeah, know yeah. like like it's limited then you subscribe yeah. to a package then it uh, it's just, yeah, yeah it's, it's a faster stupid. car if you yeah. pay more per month it's it's stupid, uh, stupid. yeah um uh, i mean when you mentioned like that there, there are actually cars here which are like you know the the scooters like there's electric cars i don't know it's probably there uh, so come as well like i can't remember green something i had the app on my phone uh, i can't remember b- 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 yeah 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 uh so I, uh, there was a, a the renault twingo was one of those right green know. mobility is it green green mobility yeah it's called green mobility the app mm-hmm. and uh, you have like uh, electric cars uh, mm-hmm. around the city and then you just if it's if a car is close to you just from the app you book it you use it you park it wherever and you leave uh, you park it wherever yeah, yeah yeah as far as i know you just park it wherever and leave I mean, oh yes. wow okay That's, I'm that's not cool. sure how they handle parking fees, but uh, yeah, that's what I was going to ask. <laughs> I, I mean, but yeah, like, there are no there are no vehicles there. nearby. It says uh, the okay. main. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen those cars though. I've seen them, but I mean. uh to be fair i mean you don't you don't necessarily uh oh no nah, mm. it's not it's not there in stockholm it's only in gothenburg and malmo it's there's a lot in copenhagen a lot in yeah. copenhagen yeah yeah copenhagen there's some stuff in helsinki mm. amsterdam it's 5 crowns per minute oh it's just oh uh, oh so it's like, it works like one of those scooters yeah nice. exactly exactly Oh okay. Oh dude, that's nice. So there is no like uh, that's probably okay. Okay, just just to you know tell you guys how it works out. Um mm. uh in like ride sharing apps like Kinto Share and Volvo demand, on demand what you do is um uh you need to book for a period of time. 
right mm. and uh, for that booking your charge an amount right mm. your charge an amount and on top of that your charge an amount for the number of kilometers that you travel mm. right? uh, and that that those yeah. two get added together is the charge so also you can pay pay for stuff like insurance and stuff like mm. as well so like a, like i, mean, yeah, I yeah. can't remember added, the details of the amount yeah. added mm. added cost for insurance mm. right that's how it works but for scooters and things like that how it works is sometimes there is an unlock fee to unlock the scooter so like mm. a small amount like 10 crowns which is around yeah 1 um um so you do that and then after that uh your charge for how long you use it rather than what mm. distance you go so it it gets charged per minute and you can sort of pause your ride as well in mm. the middle Uh, so that you know if you're like park somewhere and when you went to go to pick something up it's yeah. charge you for that right okay, so okay 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 that's like how it works out mm-hmm. so and that being applied to cars is interesting i'm i'm mm-hmm. i haven't used that so i'm looking uh, i can't use it unfortunately i'm in stockholm maybe nilanka you can mm-hmm. <laughs> tell me what it like uh, i i heard you say i mean is the like the other cars myself but like i've heard uh, about it like some someone who used it but yeah i just used pick took the app just to see how many cars there are on the list. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm? I want to see how it works. Uh, so, I mean, they're they probably putting it in... Uh, uh, so, I, I just went uh, through yeah. it. Like, they, 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 uh, it's, it's all... It seems to be this car called the Renault Zoe, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, that's yeah. what they have in their... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Zoe, Zoe, yes. Right? Zoe, so, Zoe, yeah. Zoe is not like a... long range electric car it's like some sort of mid range electric car so there's a limit mm. to the distance that you can travel in mm. um uh the car yeah. um so it's it's sort of like so what happens in the scooters is uh, you don't charge your scooter right so mm. you don't you don't have the facility to charge your own scooter it's someone the company who owns it either lime or yeah. uh, boy or whoever owns it they charge it like overnight or whenever they it's yeah, yeah. used they come and replace the batteries right um so i'm i'm going i'm assuming it's a similar thing here green mobility they probably yeah, charge yeah. their own cars when it's a bit low they go and find yeah. it this charge it mm. um and yeah. Uh, yeah so that means you can't there's a limit to the distance that you can yeah. travel in and maybe there's probably like a city limit like 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 a hard border as well where where you can exactly. travel you can't exactly. take the car out of because i mean i go into the map it's it kind of shows like a zone uh ah, yeah yeah maybe yeah. it's like you can only travel it in and city limits and if you try to go out probably it stops and then uh, yeah. yeah it yeah. doesn't move beyond that i yeah. assume because <laughs> uh, that's yeah. a bit scary though <laughs> they yeah. stopping in the middle of highway i i i am pretty sure they put safety precautions yeah probably they yeah. probably wouldn't let you go into the highway i assume yeah. you know mm-hmm. like that that mm-hmm. they will stop it before but i don't know how regulated it is <laughs> yeah yeah true 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 wow, um okay. interesting and so, i yeah, think that's the topic uh, on replaceable so we have like a few minutes more right i don't yeah think but i think like uh, for today it's okay for us to go with a uh, you know uh short episode maybe or yeah. we can uh, no, we can try to get maybe we can wrap it up i guess we will yeah. we we'll saw i mean we did not we, we don't have a lot, lot of time but i think we covered most of it most of it what yeah, we wanted yeah. to talk about as well right yeah yeah so so yeah this uh, then this has been our kind of second season because we did 1.5 to it was 2.5 it was 2.5 it was 2.5 we'll see how this 5. works yeah. and we'll set up better yeah, equipment yeah. and record this mm, mm, mm. yeah yeah let's see how it goes and uh, a little bit of a comeback here and uh, okay. after after almost one and a half years maybe i think is it oh yeah it's been that long yeah, yeah. it's it's quite quite some time yeah but then uh, let's see how this goes i uh, uh, we will try we'll be uh, giving you guys uh, giving more episodes weekly as as uh, is what we expect to uh and uh yeah thank you for listening in then we'll uh, catch you guys next week yeah see you guys next week have a good one yeah have a yeah. safe and pleasant week ahead yeah. see you guys see you